my Christian band, uh, Hillsong, would that be? It'll be in the top five, right? It doesn't take that. I mean, if if it's his will, he would have opened it up, and uh, you could buy the tickets on the last week just because he would open that up to you. He knew you would be a slacker procrastinator, and he'd open that up, or somebody would give you it. If you don't go, there's for a reason, because uh, maybe you'll get home too late. You won't be able to be productive the next day, or Saturday night at your church, or Sunday or Thursday night at Mosaic Church is going to be awesome the bomb, like way better way better experience you didn't have to go as far you didn't have to spend as much yet you had a better experience and a closer closer experience with god in this place so it's it's pretty cool so i remember that i went to the kim walker smith concert at house of blues and it was good it was cool to see but i tell you the truth truly truly i tell you i have more fun at real life church mosaic church first united methodist church especially mosaic Mosaic Church, they know how to bring it, and they still know how to bring it. I stopped going there to uh, pursue God in another place or uh, pursue a woman, pursue a woman, but see how God shows up in other places. And uh, that church brought it too, but uh, I don't go based off the worship or kind of the Word of God, how the Word of God is brought. But uh, God shows up in all these churches, and we got to be in pursuit of Him. And uh, case in point. Remember, the enemy will try to take you away from that. Get into the church. Get into the body of Christ. Use your gifts and talents according to God's will, His plan and purpose for your night life to get you to the destiny and eventually uh, eternal life, which all of us that surrender have eternal life access to that. But we have to stay focused and be pursuing God because uh, He has brought us from death to life, remembering that by showing us grace and mercy and His Son dying for us on the cross. So don't forget that stuff. So many times we should be dead or women should be pregnant uh, from boyfriends out of wedlock and stuff, yet yeah, we're not. Hey, don't mess with Mr. Ralph. So, grace and mercy, you know? So many times you could have been in downtown Orlando or wherever and been attacked and stuff. I remember that stuff. Or uh, just like those Pulse tragedies that happened. I went to Pulse a couple times just because in my, uh, my past marriage, um, we were friends with quite a few of um, people that went there. So I said, whatever, I can check it out, I guess. And I mean, because I showed, because even then before Christian, I kind of was very cool with people and didn't judge and was unconditional love. I knew there was something in me. That's when I found out it was Jesus. So, but uh, could have been dead. You know, you're only asking for trouble because that's where the devil lurks. The enemy lurks when you go and do that stuff. So you better, everywhere you go, God better be with you. And I tell you the truth, he's with you if you pray, pray, and read the word of God, and he knows our heart if we're in pursuit of him. So that's all I got to say about that. Actually, it's not, but I'll stop there. So remembering the cross, remembering to pray. Always praying for me, friends and family. It's continued prayers for uh, Cindy, Cindy Metier, and uh, Room 417 at Orlando Health. Had a stroke a few weeks ago. Uh, still stable condition, but not a good condition. Probably... If anything's changed, I don't really get updates, but on a scale of one to 10, probably like a three, I think respirator and I don't even think eyes open or maybe blinking, but uh, I think it's bad. So not much change. I think she's having the negotiations with God. Uh, just surrender quick and you'll be healed. A lot of times I say, uh, he knows her heart though. That's why I tell people with any, any disease, first thing, uh, checkpoint is, checkpoints always, How's your spiritual life? How, how's your life with God? Uh, okay, if it's good there, I know, I know, but just make sure that's good. Just like in fitness or competitive athletes, how's your hydration? How's your level of fitness? How's your hydration, fuel, and sleep and recovery? And how's your workout program? So you gotta make sure that stuff, there's certain checkpoints that we have to do. The main checkpoint to reiterate is pursuit of God, especially on Sundays. He saved your butt this whole week. So give him an hour or two in the body of Christ, and uh, I guarantee you it will be it'll blow your mind. So cool. All right, my brother's being baptized. Church in the Sun, probably the most funnest church ever, as far as worship and the Word of God and altar calls, saving people. Uh, God shows up, so I'm gonna go check that out tomorrow. Uh, where there the angels and God is rejoicing in heaven uh, because. Uh, a child of God has came to him and surrendered to him. 
Uh, we're all children of God. Everybody was created by God. He created all things. It's just free will. He also gave us free will because of what Adam and Eve did. And uh, yeah, cool. And death and sin has entered the world. So it doesn't have to be that way though. 100% 100% focus and you're kind of good to go. So preachers that say that they still do this and they still do that. Oh, well, pray for them. Pray for them. But uh, they better be in 100% pursuit of God. I guess it's a little different for me coming from a single guy's perspective. But I tell you the truth, I got a lot of responsibilities. And got a blessing in the other room and a blessing over there. Keith Farmer and Elena Torres and Deja and Carla and all my people at work and all my co-workers and everybody I encounter. It's a huge responsibility. And uh, I don't take it lightly. And all the people that I helped at Arnold Palmer today... I know he's got a plan and purpose for me, so it's huge responsibility. So at the right time, he'll do whatever in my life. So I know if I just pursue God 100%, I'll get exactly where I need to be. So that's that's the cool part. And that's not hard. That's not hard to pursue God. Uh, just don't get unfocused. Even for me, the enemy comes at me harder, but uh, I know it's better than to mess with me because uh, I'm patient and I pray about it. So cool. I can pray right there. Pray right before somebody suggests a certain exercise to do. Hey man, go do some uh, handstand push-ups or something. Like, I'm gonna go pray about that for a minute. I'll be over there. All right, God said no. I'm not going to. <laughs> not this week, Satan. <laughs> Get behind me, Satan. Love you guys. I'm gonna go. Uh, that's exciting. Cool. Love you. I'm 25 minutes. Told you I'm gonna start my own church. Yeah, me and David Suarez and Keith Farmer possibly. Love you. See you. Bye.